New virtual reality tools are helping train first responders for whatever disasters come their way, from mass shootings to earthquakes. These high stress events are sporadic and difficult to replicate. But as CBS's Michael George reports, a new cutting edge VR program in Ohio puts first responders right at the scene. See, so you've got an injury here to your arm. We're going to put this tourniquet on you. It's the kind of thing no first responder wants to encounter in real life, but must be ready for. You're the only provider in route right now. You have reinforcements coming in about 10 minutes. Through a headset, participants in this virtual reality training program are placed right in the middle of a subway bombing. Can you lie on your back? Trainees can move about the scene and triage victims who interact through artificial intelligence. I liked how you recognized that she was probably the sickest. Dr. Nicholas Kaman is an emergency medicine physician at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center and leads the VR initiative. There needs to be better hands-on training for first responders. So when they're in virtual reality, it feels very realistic to them that they're actually taking care of real victims. West Licking firefighter and paramedic Anthony Walsh took a run at it. Screaming in the background, the sirens, lots of loud noises. Uh, the light was dim. That really added on to like the depth of training. The injuries, number of victims, and conditions can all be modified. Participants are scored on their performance and debriefed after. Many of them might want to go back in and try a harder scenario. So there is a gamification piece to this. But with the number of mass casualty incidents rising, the consequences are very real and critical. Michael George, CBS News. The Ohio State University College of Medicine plans to expand the program and license the software for other agencies to use.